is Stellantis panicking? And what I mean by that is, are they freaking out? Are they panicking that the next decisions they make as a company could either make or break them in the United States? <laughs> they are. For the longest time. What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And yes, executives are starting to panic. The board is uneasy. They don't know if keeping Carlos Tavares until the beginning of 2026 is the right move. And for me, you know where I stand, right? Fire him immediately. I think we've seen a record gain this last week in the U.S. stock market. But we didn't see a record gain on Stellantis' stock. Everybody else benefited except Stellantis. Do you know why that is? It's because the people don't believe them yet. They're getting the rumors. They're hearing the information because as I'm getting it, I'm publishing it. Are the articles, I just had a long conversation, a long talk with a reporter from the Wall Street Journal uh, what day before yesterday. And I just talked to somebody from Bloomberg for a half an hour yesterday talking about uh, my sources and where they were going to move the Ram 1500 to Mexico, the gas version. Stellantis is panicking now because they see with the current change of administration that the emission standards are not going to be what they were. The fines to build cars that people actually want are not going to be there. They have an opportunity if they seize it and they have to do it now to change the direction. Now, part of that has already happened. Part of that has already happened in that they have accelerated the release of the gasoline Dodge Charger. Now, I know you're going to say, but that's the inline 60K. That thing sucks. Uh, I, I get it. I understand. The hurricane doesn't, insta it doesn't instill a lot of confidence for me with all of the plastic that is on that engine. It just doesn't. It's not a Hemi, right? It doesn't, it doesn't get me warm and fuzzy, okay? But then you have situations like they can't decide if they want to build out this new Magnum, which myself and Butter the Insider were talking about. And as I said before, Butter the Insider broke the information on that new Magnum engine like well over a year ago, and nobody believed them. But it's there. They had it. It's been in development. Or did I go reach out to one of their sister companies, you know, because John Elkins, the chairman of the board at Stellantis and at Ferrari. And do they borrow that 3.9 liter from the California? Whatever they're going to do, they need to make a decision fast. Now, the interesting part for me is I, where I think that they're panicking is they asked the engineers, not can they fit the California engine in there, because it would just plug and play right now. Or this new Magnum engine that they have in development. But could they fit a 5.7 liter push rod, old school, American, beautiful V8? Now that, that... That gets the people's attention. And yes, I think they may have to modify some things with the strut towers and whatnot to be able to make that engine fit. But to see them, to get the information I get from my sources where they're going, yeah, they talked to such and such over here today and they're talking about maybe using the California engine. They are running around the room with their hair on fire right now. 
because everything that Carlos Tavares put forward as his directives of where he thought the government of the United States was going to go, the rug there, there just got pulled right out from under him. Now, he has to make a decision. Do I, do I stay the course and go with what I really want to do, which is screw everybody because these cars suck, or, you know, and I'm going to bankrupt my company, or do I make the change and I instantly become profitable? I think the investors are going to make the decision for him. Some of the super investors at Stellantis have already applauded some of the changes. Devaria applauded some of the changes. You can't, I just, when I, what I mean by that is like the administration and how they're talking about with emission standards and things of that nature. But guys, for you guys on the board, you have to absolutely make a change at executive. And you got to have somebody at least over, split Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram off. Make it its own company just the way you guys did at Ferrari. And put somebody in charge that knows this market. Knows how to deal with a current administration, whoever it is. Because it's going to change in four years. And build cars that Ameri and trucks that Americans want. The other panic that they're having is, I've already talked about this a little bit in detail and I'll, I'll try to be quick here when they talked about 2024 trucks costing more than 2025s part of that has to do with the power plants that are involved but the other part is Stellantis did lower their prices on their vehicles for 2025 or for model year 2025 uh, for Jeep and Ram now Stellantis would be very smart now granted it does eat into profits but they've already mailed in 2024 right so if you're already saying the fourth quarter is gonna suck balls like it doesn't matter the fourth quarter we're just done we're not worried about the fourth quarter if that's the case if that's the case cut the prices by 25 or 30 percent on all the existing inventory. And that, Carlos Tavares, would meet one of the things that you actually said and would actually get done. In that, those vehicles would be gone. Those Rams would sell. Those Jeeps would sell. And uh, I don't know. I think, I think that's, that's the uh, one thing you can do. And the second thing you can do is put a V8 in a Ram. That would uh, make a huge difference, at least in the light-duty trucks, right? But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that they just have too many people that have input and nobody's really taking leadership because Carlos Tavares is like a lame duck CEO? So it's just kind of like, uh, we don't know what to do. I think that's part of it. And I think they have probably till the first or second week of January to figure out what they're going to do. And if they don't have that plan in place by then, and Carlos Tavares doesn't leave a year early, I think Stellantis may be in trouble. I mean, even if they are going to use the California engine or this new Magnum or whatever it is, and they don't put the Hemi in, whatever it is that they do, they're going to see, they're going to have problems. If they don't, they got to get the ball rolling now because they know even if they do it, it's going to take a year to 18 months to roll those vehicles out. So the time to make the change, if you're going to make it, is now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.